A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. If you need a website or a domain, go to squarespace.com forward slash James for 10% off your first purchase. God, there really is no better feeling than getting value for money out of a hire car, is there? Look at this. State of that. <laughs> right then, it has just gone past 7 a.m. So I've got to be back here in about 57 minutes for two things. Number one, to go to the supermarket, which is why I've come out this morning, really, because uh, it opens at eight. And number two, I need to start paying for parking from eight. I think that means I could Google Lens it, but I'm pretty sure eight till eight, one euro an hour. Perfect. See you in an hour, Carl. So this is Marciana Marina, I think. Uh, we are staying just up that hill up there. Um, we're on the island of Elba, or Ilba, I think is how you say it, in Italy. On the second week of our honeymoon, although we've decided to stop calling it a honeymoon because, well, we've got a nine month old with us. So it's not really much of a honeymoon, to be honest. I think he's meditating, that looks delightful. Uh, as you might be able to see this morning, I'm shooting on the uh, 35mm f1.4 again. I love this lens, although I am still tempted by the 50mm f1.2. It's so expensive, but 50mm is just my favorite focal length. We'll see. In most places you tend to look in Italy, it just seems very, very pretty, but there are bins everywhere, which is, I mean, it's massively practical, but it kind of ruins some of the aesthetic. Uh, that's a nice bit of light down there, actually, I missed that. I would say I do feel quite unlucky to have turned up on bin day. Everyone has got these bins out, which um, is somewhat limiting my options. And yes, that is, that is an excuse. Isn't that the best little parking space you've ever seen? There's a parking space especially for that little truck. It's amazing. Love it. Oh. Back onto my no entry and stop signs. There's a funny seagull at the top of the building though, so that's semi-interesting. How nice is that? Oh, I think that's worth a lens change. 
Okay, so I've now got the um, the 20 mil F1.8 on, and uh, I mean, well, to be honest, it's still still quite a difficult thing to capture. What I could do with though is a boat chugging along somewhere in here. There is one out there, but you can't see that at 20 mil. I could do with a big boat coming in quite close. I can hear one. No, it's, it's way too far out. Another brown bin. Right, it's, uh, it's gone quarter two, so I'd probably best start heading back to the car to pay for some parking. I'm always a bit nervous about these videos. So I've only got an hour, I don't actually know if I'll have a chance to take any decent photos. So, as usual, we'll see. Somebody responded to uh, one of my Instagram stories where I asked for recommendations at Elba. Um, somebody responded with that restaurant. We've not been yet. Hopefully we'll have a chance to go. Thank you for that. And also actually, somebody responded with that place for gelato. We have been there. It was amazing. Had a Napoleon. Can't remember what that means, but it was awesome. Apparently Napoleon exiled here. Good place to do it. Does anyone who is Italian know why the stop signs are in English? I can't remember if I asked this in the last video. I don't get it. Right, it's three minutes to eight, so I should probably figure out how to, um, A, not walk in the road, and B, feed this parking machine. Absolutely no idea. Hopefully, I've taken one or two half decent shots. I shall assess them when I'm back home, which is, um, I suppose, when you'll join me in a few seconds' time. Work. Give me a ticket. Oh. Yes. Uh, well, through the magic of video, as you can see, I'm, I'm now back home. And um, I suppose it was a long shot with only an hour to shoot that I'd end up with any kind of portfolio image. And uh, well, I didn't. There are a couple that I quite like though. This one, I quite like. I underexposed quite a lot, as you might be able to tell. And that looks quite moody and, and nice, I think. And there was one other one. Oh yeah, the bird flying between the flags. I quite like that one too, with the guy meditating. I wish it was a bit closer, a bit more cropped in. I suppose I could crop it. I shot it on my A7R, so there's plenty of resolution there, but uh, yeah, I wish I'd shot that with a 50. Uh, as I also mentioned last week, I have now bought that 50 millimeter lens. Uh, yes, here it is. And as a consequence, I'm gonna sell my 35 mil F1.4 because, uh, well, I don't need both of them. And this would just be sat on a shelf. I've also got a 24 to 70, so if I wanna shoot at 35, I'll just use that. I don't need both primes. Uh, also, I'm gonna sell my 20 mil F1.8 and uh, my 50 mil F2.5 because I don't need two 50 millimeter primes. Uh, UK shipping only, unfortunately, which I know sucks, but it's just, it's too much for a faff to ship things this valuable. And they are all listed on my website at the moment. Uh, and speaking of my website, this video was very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. So I made some changes to my website recently. Uh, I added some images, made some changes to the fonts, things like that. And as always, it was super simple, super easy to do. Lots of it's drag and drop, lots of it's sliders. You don't need to know a single line of code. It's fantastic. So if you're a photographer and you're looking to showcase your work online, then I wouldn't look any further than Squarespace. And the same thing applies if you're looking to sell your work online too. Squarespace has tons of functionality for portfolios, for online stores, for blogs, for newsletters. And if you go to squarespace.com, you can check it all out with a free trial. And after that, if you'd like to make a purchase, then just go to squarespace.com forward slash James and you'll get 10% 
off that first purchase. It's fantastic, I couldn't recommend it highly enough. A big thank you to Squarespace for their continued support of this channel. And uh, yeah, if you've not got a website, definitely check it out for free. Uh, right, big thank you for watching. Uh, next week, I'm gonna go through one of the images that I took in Italy, which I've not shown on videos yet. And I'm just gonna show my edit start to finish because uh, that's a video that's been requested quite a lot. So yes, that's, that's next week. Hopefully you'll tune in for that. Until then, take care. Cheers.